Hi, I'm Dr. Graves from the Geography Department, and um, this is a short video tutorial about um, how to use Microsoft Word, particularly the outlining function to help you, the student, uh, stay more organized and uh, to help you write more efficiently. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now on this part here, what I wanted to show you uh, largely um, on these screens here is um, a couple of essays or, or things that I've written and um, how they, they have been written. So notice here this is a standard uh, title page and uh, it has um, an introduction and then some of the um, standard text that go in to an essay. Um, but the part I want to focus you on is the outlining function here. So if you click on the view tab up here and go to outline, then you will see the basic outline of, of my essay. Each of the headings uh, appear as a level. You see that these the introduction, Woody Land America, are level two, and then there are at least a couple of sub levels here. The word today is at level four, and the word uh, conclusion is at level uh, four as well. The rest of it is body text. So, how this works is that you can see not only the outline. Of your essay, but it, depending on the way you have it set up here, where you can see the first line only, which helps you read essentially each paragraph's um, topic sentence. So this is what I would call a topic sentence outline. It's better than just if I were to take um, just the outline levels and call this you know my outline this doesn't really help me very much understand what is going on if I then turn this back to all levels I can see um, more at least the first line of each paragraph and technically if you've written your topic sentences well the topic sentence introduces each paragraph. It should, um, for most instances, uh, provide a, a sort of a roadmap to the reader to the content of each of the paragraphs. And so, if you were to be able to read just the first sentence of every paragraph on the screen, you should be able to make sense of the essay, of the argument, how each of um, how the argument was being built. So that's a major advantage of, of doing it this way. Uh, another cool thing that Microsoft Word's outlining function allows you to do is if you, if you watch here, I'm going to double click um, next to Buzzland and double click next to uh, Woody Land, Woody and Buzz. And what if I wanted to move a buzz before Woody. I could click and drag that entire section up. Did you see that? I promoted it, or didn't promote it, but I just moved it. And then I can re expand Buzzland and Woody Land, and now those entire sections are moved around. You could move an entire chapter up, or a, a paragraph that you think really should go earlier or later in the essay. You can do it here. Um, without having to sort of go through and sort of copy and paste um, the paragraphs and move them around. This way you can see essentially the whole thing all at once and be able to make uh, better decisions about how uh, your essay or your research paper should be constructed. So I'm going to hit Control Z to move those things back the way they were. OK. 
because um, that was the way I want it to do. Um, you can take out the text formatting. You can show the entire paragraph if you want to. And if you wanted to um, move this, say, today um, is a subcategory or conclusion, which really shouldn't be a subcategory. It should be at least at level two. I can highlight that and then I can um, promote it to a higher level, three, or even up to level two like that. You can also do that by pressing down Shift and Alt, and you can uh, use your right and left arrows to move um, entire um, sections up or down. So uh, what I would suggest you do is that you um, at least experiment with this and try to think about uh, the utility of the outlining function as it allows you to see an overview of your entire um, essay or uh, research paper. So I'm going to close this uh, file because it's just an essay. We're going to take a look at um, a, another essay or it's actually sort of a mock research paper here and notice here that um, it's not an outline view. Now here's my chapter one heading, and uh, you can see that it's heading one. I can shift alt, I can move it to heading two or three or down to four, but it should be one. I, if I go to view and outline mode, I can see uh, each of these headings and how they um, how they appear each of the uh, paragraphs that are under um, each of the headings that are in body text. I'm going to close this. Now I'll show you here the utility of doing this. Rather than just highlighting body text and making it uh, bold if I scroll up here, you will notice that I have a table of contents included in here. And each of those headings, there's introduction or chapter one, as I had, um, is put in the table of contents automatically by uh, Microsoft Word. So let me uh, just going to delete the table of contents here and I'm going to insert it, uh, reinsert it. So I can go to uh, references and go to um, table of contents here and click on that and there are options on how this thing should appear. So uh, there are various ones you can modify it as you would like. I like this uh, one here, um, automatic table of contents. I'm going to click on that and there it is. It's updated. Not sure that I like this uh, heading so I may uh, just delete that. I don't really need it. And anytime that I add a new page or update what I'm doing I don't have to rearrange all of these uh, pages by myself to uh, scroll back and forth to figure out what page a new uh, by adding one page or two pages or a page and a half it added some new pages or change the pagination you just right click on this and you can update the field the table of contents is the field and it gives you the option of updating only the page numbers or the entire table if you added a new section so um, that is um, the other great value of using these section headings, not just to get yourself uh, organized and your thoughts organized, but also to uh, automate some of your work. And so that's 10 minutes worth of video, and I think that that's uh, more than enough. There will be a second one regarding how to do citations.
using Microsoft Word.